Roller coaster day on Wall Street today, finishing up on the upswing. All three major indices you see here finished up nearly 5% on the day. Right now, the city of St. Louis is not recommending canceling any large gatherings, but while more and more events are canceled or postponed across the country, there is growing concern about the economic impact of all of this. So Ray Preston has been talking with city leaders and business owners. He is live for us downtown with more. Well, right now we are four days away from the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade, which of course draws thousands of people to downtown St. Louis. But you know, the Blues, the Battle Hawks, March Madness are all moving forward with scheduled games. As the number of coronavirus cases around the country increases, one downtown St. Louis restaurant manager says he doesn't believe the impact will be as great as many fear. Even if the larger events, such as the St. Patrick's Day Parade, go on, there is concern that businesses overall will feel the pinch with a general economic slowdown. At this point, we know that we will see lost revenue. There's just no way around that, right? Um, uh, but uh, the more people take the proper precautions, the more we stop the spread, the better off and the stronger we're going to be. Board of Aldermen President Lewis Reed says he is going to make a request from the budget director to come up with projections. But at this point, it's really too early to truly tell the impact COVID-19 will have in the St. Louis region. Um, obviously, this is uh, a, a challenge for our country and any sort of economic relief will be driven at the federal level. We'll do what we can regionally to keep our economy strong, be smart, be smart in our decisions and um, um, you know, see what the future holds. And the accounting executive says any economic impact on the country at this point has yet to be sorted out. He says the county is watching closely what happens on the coast and globally. And he says, of course, it is significant. But again, at this point, many are saying it's just too early to crunch any sort of numbers to figure out the economic impact on the St. Louis region. Reporting live in downtown St. Louis, Ray Preston, News 4.